We've also learned that the president of the Champlain Towers Association warned residents back in April of the building's deterioration and just how much it progressed since its 2018 initial inspection. We'll have much more on that and the building's recertification process in just a bit. Tonight, we have a team of reporters covering every angle of this deadly collapse. We begin with CBS4's Joan Murray. She is live in Surfside tonight with the latest. Joan. Good evening, Lauren and Elliot. As you mentioned, we are now on day six. This very dangerous mission goes on. We learned today that there have been a couple of mishaps on the site scene, but the search goes on for signs of life. You know, when somebody's missing in action in the military, you're missing until you're found. And we don't stop the search. In it for the long haul, for a six day search and rescue teams at the site of the Surfside Collapse Condo dig through the Pancakes Mountain of concrete and metal to find survivors and human remains. Nobody's giving up hope here, nobody's stopping. The work goes on full force. We're dedicated to get everyone out of that pile of rubble and reunite them with their families. The death toll remains at 11, 150 persons still missing. All 11 have been identified. They are mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles. The round-the-clock work of the 210 search and rescue crews from here and around the world, hampered by the humidity and constant rain. We're told debris falling led to a short shutdown in one section, but teams reached the parking lot in the easternmost section. We moved over approximately 3 million pounds of concrete, constantly running with our canines, our live dogs, searching for hope of life, using different audible equipment as well as video equipment, searching for life. That's what we've been doing from the get-go. The cause of the collapse remains unknown, but grand jury investigation is being launched. I have worked closely with grand juries in the past. I'm very familiar with the process, and I will do, and my team will do everything possible to aid them. And we learned that some of the 11 deceased funerals are being planned. Miami Archbishop Thomas Wenske said some of those 11 belong to parishes in Miami-Dade and that those funerals are being planned. Back to you. Joan, we've heard of DNA samples being taken in order to identify the victims. How's the identification process going right now? That is going well. Uh, you continue to see representatives from the medical examiner's office here, and we're told, as you know, that family members have contributed DNA. They have also been asked to provide specifics, maybe uh, particular scars or tattoos on family members, just to aid in any identification when it becomes necessary. Okay, Joan Murray reporting live from Surfside.